Pidgeot. We'll be back as soon as we get Professor Oak's Pokeball. Why you always lying? What's up everybody, welcome back to Double T Gaming. Before I start here, if you haven't seen the newest episode of Pokemon, episode 41, pause this video and go check that out because I'm going to be throwing out spoilers left and right in this one. To start out, once again, this episode was amazing, just like the whole arc has already been, but this episode in particular was a little bit more emotional than the other episodes, and was also a little bit more dark than the others in this arc. First of all, we saw Ash and Alon battle Lysander at the top of the tower for a little bit, and then the Elite Four member Malva came in. Now if you don't know, Malva was originally working with Team Flare, but after she saw what happened, to begin the arc and what Lysander was really planning on doing. She sort of disappeared for a couple episodes and now she's back trying to stop Team Flare. Then we see Ash give one of those inspiring speeches where he's saying he loves Pokemon and that people and Pokemon are both friends and all that really good inspiring stuff. But the main focus of this episode seemed to be more on what was happening below the tower. But before I get there, let's talk about what was going on with Serena. So if you didn't know, Serena, Team Rocket, Marin, and the Professor Sycamore, they all went to Team Flare headquarters trying to get Marin's chest pin back. And while they were all battling stuff so trying to land the helicopter, Steven showed up. If you don't know who Steven is, he's the champion of the Hoenn region. He appeared in the Mega Evolution special, which is also a great series, by the way. It follows a lot, so just be sure to go check that out too. And he was referenced a couple times by Sawyer in the XYZ anime because that's where he's originally from, the Hoenn region. And I'm also pretty sure he was mentioned once or twice when Ash was in the Hoenn region himself. But now we have two champions involved in the same problems with Diantha and Steven, so this is going to be pretty epic pretty quick. But let's get back to Lumio City and the Zygarde situation. So Team Flare has both Zygards under their control at this point. So by Bonnie decides it's a good idea to go after her Zygarde, Squishy. And this is where the show kind of took a real dark anime feel to it. Zygarde tried to whip Bonnie out of the way, but the Blaziken Mask Man actually jumped in front of it and got slammed into a concrete wall with full force. And when I mean full force, I mean that it looked like something out of Dragon Ball Z, the way it happened. Like when I was watching it, my reaction was just like, holy crap, that dude just got slammed into a wall. This is not Pokemon, but I love it. This type of scene is something we don't really see in Pokemon very often, and in my opinion, we need more of it. But after that, Bonnie actually started to sing to Zygarde. Now, if you've been watching since the beginning of XYZ, you'll remember that Bonnie actually made a song about Squishy. And this is the same song Bonnie just used to calm Zygarde down and eventually break Squishy out of his mind control. So now Team Flare only has one Zygarde. Now we move on to Clement, who is inside the tower trying to take his gym back with Clembot. The gym is also where Team Flare is keeping their gun laser thing that is actually being used to control the Zygarde. And the only way for them to stop the laser was for Clembot to sacrifice himself. And this is probably one of the more emotional scenes of the anime with Clement crying, him being the one to have to hit the button to destroy the machine but also destroy Clembot and Clembot saying it's all okay dude I served my purpose in life I just wanted to serve you and I did that and I'm happy and when they actually showed Clembot blowing up that's when I was like wow did they just really show that that's actually pretty dark of the show to do but after they blew up the laser the mind control and the other Zygarde stopped working so now Team Flare had no Zygarde's and everything was beginning to fall apart for them so let's throw some major props out here to Clement and Bonnie who basically stopped the Zygarde's by themselves with the help of Clembot of course and they both did it in such an emotional way it was incredible to watch it all unfold after seeing Bonnie's relationship with Squishy grow throughout the series, and also how Clement's relationship with Clembot had grown over time, I mean it was truly sad to see the way Clembot went out, but it was also really cool to see the supporting characters having a major impact on this arc. All in all, this episode was once again amazing, and it teetered a little bit more towards the actual anime side of Pokemon rather than it just being a kid show. I'm going to be pretty interested to see how the English dub is going to handle this arc because it's a lot darker than what we're used to seeing out of Pokemon. Now if you saw the preview for the next episode, you'll see that we finally get to see the 100% full power Zygarde, and that's going to be amazing. And next week, we also get an hour special of Pokemon. Basically, we're going to have two episodes of the day. The first part is going to be called Kalos Line of Defense, and the second part is going to be called the final decisive battle of Kalos. Just based on these titles, you already know that next week is just going to be amazing if you're a Pokemon fan. It's going to be epic, it's going to be incredible, and I'm so hyped for it. But let me know what you guys thought about the episode down in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you like the content or just like the sound of my sexual voice. Thank you guys for watching. This is Double T Gaming, and I will see you guys in the next video.